Sakodie have, is being heavily chewed for receiving an alleged um, fake award in the name of United Nations and Kofi Annan Foundation. This comes after an expose by one Mr. Elvin who has backed his allegation with some evidence to suggest that the um, convener of the award scheme, Dr. Kwame Owusu, is not recognized by the organizations um, he has been representing. Yeah, Why are you laughing? I'm laughing at comments. Man. Somebody said that you should have known that this award is fake from the appearance of the person that <laughs> was giving it. And I'm like, how do I even know that? <laughs> you know, like, and that was just so funny to me. But it just shows that people will go the extra mile. And it just reminded me of what um, I can't remember who now. I think it was it Uchemba, who mm -hmm. they said was um, representing the UN and mm. was doing stuff. And See, then they... uh, this whole <laughs> UN, you are not representing UN, you are fake ambassador, you are original. It's not the same thing with them. Don Jazzy. The when, the band, just, the, sorry, the Please band. respect my guy. Yeah, yeah. the band. When... I feel like UN needs to do something. Because this is getting too much. How do we know who is representing you or not? What, where is the platform? Like, what website should we go to to ensure that if this organization is even an affiliate to your platform, mm -hmm. once we go to that page, we can see them mm -hmm. registered and their names there to say, Elsie Godwin is an affiliate of UN. Because this is getting too much and it's becoming too a rampant. joke. I think anybody can just wake up and decide to form one gathering in one I'm, I'm, I'm even giving you guys awards tomorrow on behalf oh. of UN. <laughs> I think the problem is with with UN structure mm. is that they 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 have um what's it called direct affiliations with people mm -hmm. and then sometimes they have impersonal af um, affiliations with people so sometimes they will sponsor programs that are no UN programs mm. um, and, then? and then that person can still say that it was sponsored, sponsored by, by UN, UN but it's not an official sponsoring oh. whatever so I think that I think I think they, they take advantage of the fact that they they help the youth a lot and a lot of youth mm. initiative because they a lot do. of people actually go to them with different ideas and then they run but what if this people. Mr. Elvis or what's his name is capping now and then the other man comes out to say giving documents and all that will they take back all this trolling but this guy is his his look really <laughs> <laughs> i don't know i think for me with this particular story both of them both parties are to blame i think uh what's it called what's his name Sakodie yeah. did did have the responsibility to figure out how legit the award is what it means where it's coming from I agree everything. that he does, but that's what I'm telling you, that it's now extremely difficult to, to know who is truly affiliated mm. with the UN and who isn't. It's not like we have the number of the oh guard here. I don't mm. think that's his business anyway. Yeah. So there are different um, arms of UN, mm. there are even different organizations under UN. UN. Yeah. So it's just too much. And, and they need to figure this out because it's becoming too much. they support that are not necessarily under UN. Yeah. But personally, I'm not a big fan per se of the UN as a whole. And that's, I don't want to make that the conversation. Wow. Their, their intentions for me sometimes are a very questionable, especially when it comes to Africans and all that type of stuff. And I, I don't know if it's a bias now, but I feel like it's not that hard to find out abroad. I feel like the resources that they have put here in terms of public communications on their websites is very lackadaisical and they're not really making as much effort to show seriousness with who they are dealing with here and mm. how they are dealing with them. I mean, because it could easily be figured out. Yes. It's a website that yeah. can sort this. Um, so for me, that that brings my, my bias was to say, yeah, maybe you just don't rate these people well enough. So it doesn't really matter. Mm. Even the um, the, the, the fine against the bunch, the, the way they responded to that to me too was very loose. I expected like more. It was an a, a affiliated person mm. of UN that ended up speaking, <laughs> not UN. It's like, I, Somehow. I, yeah, they need I to think, work I on think the body is too broad and i think a, a better structure should be put in place for mm. them to you know when it comes to youth affiliated stuff and you being involved with other stuff let there be a body to undo that so that when these people and then there would be a clause in whatever contract these people are signing that regardless of what you're saying or regardless of what you're giving out based on your capacity playing this role when you're talking about the un it has to be stated that it is an yeah. affiliation or it is a sponsorship or it is whatever it is i don't think they are too big to structure They're it properly not. if they want to yeah. but um we hope that you do the right thing and this becomes cleared but sorry to sakodia anyway